Hello and welcome to the Daily Comic and Collectible, episode 515. Now today, the collectible of the day is the Lego Group, Marvel Comics, Spidey and His Amazing Friends, Spider-Man's Car, and Doc Ock Build Set. Welcome to Classic Superhero Action with Lego Marvel, Spider-Man, His Car, and Doc Ock. This set comes complete with iconic characters, a super cool vehicle, and awesome accessories. A Diamond Theft starts all the action in this playset leading into web-slinging car action with Spidey and Doc Ock. This set includes two minifigures, Spider-Man and Doc Ock, from the series Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends, plus Spidey's super cool car which features two glow-in-the-dark web elements, a special starter brick car chassis, and simple step-by-step -step pictured instructions. Plus, there's the Builder app that offers digital zoom and rotate tools to visualize the model as you build. Great for portable play and small area display, with the car measuring over 1.5 inches tall by 3 inches long and 1.5 inches wide. Released in 2023 by Lego Group. Now, the comic of the day is Web of Spider-Man, Volume 1, Issue Number 4, with a cover date of July 1985, with story by Danny Fingeroth, art by Greg LaRoque, and cover by John Byrne. This issue is titled, Arms and the Man. The story opens with Spider-Man staking at a warehouse where he observes a gang stealing crates full of fur coats. Using the cover of darkness, Spider-Man manages to ambush the thugs, taking down many. However, he loses the advantage when he gets tangled up in a rack of coats. He's dogpiled by some of the thugs, but fights them off. The last of the gang tries to run over Spider-Man with the delivery truck. The wall crawler is briefly blinded by the headlights, but dodges it all at the last moment. The truck smashes through a wall and tries to get away. Unfortunately for him, Spider-Man manages to leap onto the roof of the truck and forces it to crash. However, the drivers that are now stuck in a traffic jam get upset with the wall crawler. Spider-Man pulls the wrecked truck off the road, and when the police arrive, he web-slings away. Having taken pictures, Spider-Man goes to the Daily Bugle, where he changes into Peter Parker. He stops briefly to say hello to Betty Leeds, before heading in to try and sell his photos to Joe Robertson. Unfortunately for Peter... Joe Robertson isn't interested in more pictures of Spider-Man. On his way out, Peter bumps into J. Jonah Jameson, spilling the pictures on the floor. Jameson likes the photos and asks to use them in his now-revived Now magazine. Once more, Jameson asks Peter to join the team, exclaiming that Now magazine is going to be big. As he leaves... Peter thinks that becoming a photographer for Jameson's magazine, he could pull in a lot more money than usual and considers taking some photography courses. Meanwhile, at the Brooklyn Psychiatric Facility, Dr. George Jefferson is in a session with Otto Octavius, the criminal known as Dr. Octopus. He tries to get Otto to open up about his childhood but Otto can't bring himself to talk about it at that moment. Jefferson understands, and he walks Octavius back to his room. He assures Otto that they will work to finish the work started by Mr. Fantastic. He promises that they will get over his fear of Spider-Man and make him a productive member of society once again. Otto decides to take a nap before lunch, and as Jefferson leaves, he thinks about how people claim that Dr. Octopus can't be cured and vows to prove them wrong. After a troubled sleep, Otto wakes up 
and sees a spider has made a web in the corner of his room and begins to panic. He remembers the last time he was defeated at the hands of Spider-Man, one of his most humiliating defeats. This is followed by memories of his return home from the Secret Wars, how the sheer power of Molecule Man drove him to the brink of insanity. Suddenly, Dr. Octopus begins to hallucinate that he's being swarmed by a swarm of spiders. This mental stress affects the mental link that Dr. Octopus has with his mechanical arms, which are stored in a facility deep below Manhattan. The arms begin to flail around in the holding cell, but this is dismissed by the guards. Suddenly, Otto's fear turns into rage, and he crushes the spiders in his room. This also commands the mechanical arms to break free and begin burrowing their way up to the surface. As Dr. Jefferson and the orderlies enter his room to sedate Otto, he's had another mental break. Without the conscious mind of Dr. Octopus controlling them, the mechanical arms go on a rampage through the city. Even with special equipment provided by S.H.I.E.L.D., the NYPD are unable to stop the arms. Peter Parker hears the report of the rampage from a radio in an electronic store, where he's purchasing a new lens for his photography. Grabbing a portable police band radio, Spider-Man follows the reports to the source of the rampage. Spider-Man arrives just as the mechanical arms have broken Dr. Octopus out of his cell. Cradling the sleeping body of his master, the mechanical arms damage the foundation of the mental health facility. Spider-Man is forced to rescue those trapped inside, allowing the mechanical arms to flee with Octavius. Otto wakes up in one of his hideouts and realizes that his mechanical arms had freedom. Thinking of all the battles over the years with Spider-Man and all the humiliating defeats, Dr. Octopus puts on his mechanical arms once again and vows that this time he will destroy Spider-Man. This story is continued in Web of Spider-Man, issue number five. Geek Fact Jefferson assures Otto that he will finish the work Mr. Fantastic started. Mr. Fantastic freed Dr. Octopus from a fugue state. In Fantastic Four, Volume 1, Issue Number 267, from June of 1984. Bonus Geek Fact Doc Ock recalls his return home from the Secret Wars and how the sheer power of the Molecule Man drove him to the brink of insanity. Dr. Octopus was involved in the Secret Wars story arc, Issues Number 1 through number 12, from May of 1984 through April of 1985. Secret Wars was eventually revealed to be the cosmic entity, the Beyonder, who gathered together a large assortment of superheroes and supervillains on Battleworld to see who would ultimately win in a fight of good against evil. Advertising Ad Facts The war continues. As the Beyonder seeks the true meaning of life, the trouble begins when he finds it. Secret, Secret Wars, Wars, Wars 2. Two. 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 Secret Wars 2, issue number 2, guest stars the amazing Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, Power Man, and Iron Fist. The action starts here and continues in Web of Spider-Man, issue number 6, Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 268, and The Fantastic Four, issue number 282. You won't want to miss a single issue. Shadamatophis.
which translated into English means... I traveled 369,486,278,025 miles for Reese's Pieces. So he buys quite a few to take back with him. He says his mother loves this out-of-the-world peanut butter taste of Reese's Pieces. And so does Zydapoof, his cousin. Reese's Pieces for out-of-this-world taste. And final geek fact. Among his recollections, Dr. Octopus recalls the accident that gave him his powers and his first battle with Spider-Man from Amazing Spider-Man issue number three from July of 1963. But he also recalls the battle in which Spider-Man ripped off his mechanical arms after Doc Ock helped the owl gangsters shoot down Black Cat, almost killing her. In Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, issue number 76, from March of 1983. That issue I recently covered in episode 504. The link to that episode will be in the description below. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me for another Daily Comic and Collectible, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. This is Cat Fan Comics Man, and I'll catch you on the flip. Over and out. Out.